Hi, I'm Patrick Schweiss, an attorney with Page Vault. For today's web insight, lawyers, let's talk about the deep web. Internet searches are now commonplace in legal. Oftentimes, as lawyers, the first thing we do when we get a case is head over to Google and do a search. The search results that you see are what's known as the surface web. However, there's a much bigger area of the internet that's not available by a search engine. For example, think of my Gmail messages. It's not something you can search for. You need a password to access that content. Likewise, my bank account information online isn't publicly available. This non-searchable, non-indexed web content is what's known as the deep web. The deep web is so prevalent that it actually encompasses 96% of the internet. And if you think about it, that actually makes sense. Most of the web pages that you or I visit are behind a username or password. Think about my email or my social media accounts or health records, financial records. And that content, not surprisingly, is not indexed or searchable by a search engine. So, simply put, the deep web is anything that is not searchable using Google or Bing. If it requires a password or some sort of interaction, that's considered the deep web. In contrast, anything you can find using a search engine is not deep web, it's actually surface web. Oh, one more thing. The deep web, which is what we just discussed, is different from the dark web. The dark web, which is often associated with illegal content, will be covered in a later video. This wraps up our brief web insight. If you need to capture web content, visit our website and let us know. And of course, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, and until next time.